Welcome back to another AI paleontology video. Today we're going to be reviewing it. Hooray! Get ready for a dynamite countdown. If you look quite closely, you'll see that this video is this background over here is quite a little bit a little bit dynamic. That's because, you know, it, it's AI doing it. While Jurassic World's Indominus Rex might have been the king of genetically modified terror. The real-life dinosaurs were the ones who ruled with fierce power and no lab-grown drama. The forces of nature can actually be quite more terrifying than the forces of human, the forces, forces of artificial stuff. Buckle up as we dive into the top five deadliest dinosaurs that would have made short work of you. I mean, any unsuspecting hadrosaur or triceratops snack time. Instead, subscribe to my channel because I try and offer valuable content for you guys. It's free, you can always change your mind. Don't miss out on more prehistoric thrills. Smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay dino savvy. Let's get started. First off, let's meet the Ankylosaurus. Of course, I don't expect much from AI, but oh my god, is this supposed to be an Ankylosaur? That is an abomination of a hybrid from Jurassic World Alive. More specifically, the Carnotarchus. A seriously shielded star of our countdown. As its name suggests, Ankylosaurus translates to fused lizard. Yes, you're technically correct. Because this is more of a hybrid, more of a fusion than anything. But we can't call it slow. This beast could reach lengths of 9 meters and weigh over 6,000 kilograms, making it a force to be reckoned with. AI-generated dinosaur fossils look very much like abominations. That's just how AI goes, really. This armored dinosaur boasted an impressive defense system with bony plates all over its body. I don't see the bony plates. Where the bony plates? Where the bony plates? It wasn't just for show. These plates could also function as lethal weapons when the Ankylosaurus used them in battle. Ankylosaurus had never seen such bullshit before. Talk about a one-two punch of protection and attack. Now we're gonna shift gears a bit, moving away from the shielded stars of our countdown and into the realm of one of the largest predators ever known. Ah, uh, okay. Dinosaur, the uh, Xenopod dinosaurs apparently have two fenestrae, and this is supposed to be a Leviathan. <laughs> Gigantosaurus. As the cartilaginous cousin of Carcharodontosaurus from South America, this dinosaur was quite the contender when it came to size. Of course, it is the second largest theropod dinosaur to have ever lived first one, the largest one being the Tyrannosaurus. While it may have been slightly smaller than its fellow giant, Giganotosaurus. So what are you talking about? Are you talking about the Giganotosaurus or are you talking about the Cacarodontosaurus? Also, by the text, Giganotosaurus larger and more agile than the T-Rex, both statements are false. It was actually longer, taller, and more slender than the infamous Tyrannosaurus Rex, giving it an edge in both agility and intimidation factor. God knows what this guy's logic is already. This beast was built for speed as well as power, making it a force to be reckoned with on the ancient food chain. Let's dive into our number three contender, Gigantosaurus. So he was talking about the Cacarodontosaurus, but the Giganotosaurus text is... Oh my god. How do I even describe this monstrosity already? <sighs> A speedster with a massive bite. This South American beast left its competition in the dust, boasting an impressive speed advantage of at least 10 miles per hour. That's like cruising from Los Angeles to San Diego in no time. If you look more closely on the Google Maps, as you can see here, you'll see that Los Angeles and San Diego are not too far away from each other, especially when it comes to, you know, city standards and whatnot. Still almost 200 kilometers away from each other, by the way. So, cruising from Los Angeles to San Diego, you'll probably need a migrating season for, to do that. Its balance was on point, allowing it to move swiftly and powerfully. Giganosaurus may have had a smaller brain compared to our T-Rex. Also, I'm not even gonna bother correcting this guy missing an O. Um, it's a Giganotosaurus, not Gigantosaurus. Like, I have... I have covered it so many times already it's not worth correcting at this point but its sense of smell was super sharp helping it track down prey with ease and when it caught up its teeth did the talking serrated and razor sharp 
perfect for delivering multiple slashing bites that would leave its opponents weakened and exhausted. You know, the thing behind the old man is just completely and utterly bonkers. This is completely and utterly crazy. Coming in at number two is the Udoraptor, also known as the Slasher. Udoraptor. I have no words. Nothing. Don't be fancy with your spelling. Use the correct spelling. This formidable carnivore packs a punch with an arsenal of razor-sharp teeth and claws that could take down any prey. Its front legs were longer than its hind legs. <laughs> I swear this video is getting worse and worse as time progresses. You never see that in an AI paleontology video like this. This is just... <laughs> giving it a unique stance that allowed for lightning fast attacks, making quick work of its victims. We're basically diving into fictional territory at this point. This is paleontology parody level bad. Just making bullshit up and presenting them as facts. Like other AI paleontology videos, this one is actually trying. It's just that it's trying to be wrong. Uteraptor's elongated arms ended in sharp, curved claws perfect for slicing and dicing its catch into manageable pieces, while its powerful jaws ensured a tight grip on anything that got too close. Okay, what the duck is that Deinonychus variation? Dynano What the bloody hell was that? Hailing from the late Cretaceous period, this ruthless hunter roamed what is now Spain around 100 million years ago. Is this even a parody or what? With all of these absolutely bullcrap facts, they're literally making everything up at this point. Feasting on unsuspecting dinosaurs and other critters in a world where survival of the fittest was the ultimate rule. Check out number one, the Donacus Velociraptor, a ruthless predator from the Cretaceous period. This is one of the few AI paleontology videos that is genuinely frying my brain. I don't know if I can actually keep up with all of those bullshit that is being spat out. Approximately 125 million years ago. Hailing from Utah, this raptor cousin was a beast. Okay, so from what I've heard, this is just getting super confusing. They're literally confusing Utah after Deinonychus and Spinosaurus with each other. About three times larger than its infamous namesake and covered entirely in feathers, weighing an impressive ton. I'm sorry, but I, did I just hear the Deinonychus weighs one ton? Not even the Utah Raptor weighs one ton, the Utah Raptor is like half a ton at most. Its powerful hind legs sported a sickle-shaped claw measuring 30 centimeters or 12 inches long, perfect for delivering the final blow by slashing and disemboweling its prey with ease. Disproven. They're not sharp enough, those sickle claws. How many times do I have to say this? These thick-boned leg bones were built to withstand the intense force generated from repeatedly driving that killing claw into its victims. Okay, if this is supposed to be the Spinosaurus, <laughs> why does it have three legs? Again, this is more of a hybrid than anything. No, not even a hybrid, it's a fictional monster from a horror movie. This ferocious hunter could reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and stretch over three car lengths in length, making it an apex predator in its domain, capable of taking down whatever came its way. Also notice how the text doesn't sync up with the whatever this guy says. He can't keep getting away with it! He can't keep getting away with it! Let's dive into our number two beast, and that is Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, one of Earth's largest carnivorous dinosaurs. At least this guy didn't outright say that the Spinosaurus is the largest. It is one of the largest. Okay, okay. Spinosaurus, with a length reaching over 15 meters, or almost 50 feet, making it nearly as tall as a three-story building standing next to it. Then give us the height of the Spinosaurus. Oh my god, the actual metric of the Spinosaurus. Oh my goodness, the numbers. Its incredible size made many dinosaur enthusiasts believe it could rival the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex in power and might. No, it could not. I don't really need to tell you why. I've told you like one bazillion times already. Spinosaurus is also one of the select few dinosaurs known for its swimming prowess, suggesting that this monstrous creature spent quite some time exploring our ancient oceans and waterways. One thing stupidly funny about these AI pictures is that well, these animals, they look like abominations. Those humans, those nature stuff, they actually look quite natural and authentic. 
It's interesting to note how this massive predator has left scientists intrigued with its unique sail like fin running along its back, sparking discussions about its purpose. Look at those estimates down below. Although, to give this guy some slack, I think when it comes to the 74 ton Spinosaurus, I think the guy forgot the dot between the 7 and 4. It's supposed to be 7.4 tons, probably. Ironically, that estimate, it's... it's fine. 46 feet long, also fine. But of course, the guy stayed stuffed differently. Was it used for display or thermoregulation? The Spinosaurus remains an enigma, yet a fascinating chapter in the prehistoric world of giant dinosaurs. Meet Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, affectionately also known as the spiny lizard due to its striking sail-like fin that ran down its spine. If affectionately you mean scientifically, then you're correct. Science love potion confirmed. An iconic feature making it one of the most recognizable dinosaurs out there. With a massive weight of approximately 7.4 tons and an impressive length of about 46 feet, I knew it would be 7.4 tons. There was no way the Spinosaurus would be 74 tons. This behemoth would tower over any landscape it roamed in. But what's really fascinating is Spinosaurus' unexpected connection to water. Look at this T-Rex wannabe. You know, just learn from other bad paleontology videos example and use Spinosaurus, like actual Spinosaurus images. Its jaws were eerily similar to those of a crocodile, extending about five feet long, equipped with smooth conical teeth perfect for spearing slippery fish or even ancient sawfish like Ancopristus, which could grow up to 26 feet in length. It's called Oncopristus. It's O, not A at the start. To top it all off, specialized structures within Spinosaurus' snout allowed it to detect pressure waves generated by its prey swimming around turning this dinosaur into an aquatic hunting powerhouse. What even is this creature anymore? I can't even wrap my head around it. Sheesh, I'm a bit tired today. Now that we've explored Spinosaurus aegyptiacus incredible features and aquatic hunting skills, let's imagine these prehistoric giants stepping foot on Earth once again. Of course humans will find a way to either coexist with them, or contain them, hunt them to extinction, whatever. It's, I, I don't really know at this point. Would they become even deadlier than their already impressive selves? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this dinosaur adventure as thrilling as I did, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with fellow dino lovers, and subscribe for more enthralling videos exploring the fascinating world of dinosaurs. I watched this video with no expectations, and yet I'm both genuinely impressed and disappointed in how stupid this video is. It's just genuinely frying my brain. Uh, my, my brain is fried already. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Special thanks to channel members for supporting this channel. It helps out a ton.